Welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to do a review on our Santa and Snowman diamond paintings that I got from Huracan Official Store. There it goes. It was just a 20 by 25. It came from the Huracan Official Store. It took 18 days to get here and it's a full square diamond painting. It was free shipping and it cost me $5.21. Okay, so I got it and I have finished it. Huacan have had some trouble with popping diamonds recently and they have now changed their supplier for their diamonds so I'm hoping that that's the end of the problem. This one did have some popping diamonds but Huacan have been very generous. This here are all the leftover diamonds. Now as you can see, there's not just a few, there's quite a few in the bag still. And they, when they send their kits out, they send them out in these Ziploc bags, so you don't even have to transfer them. But as you can see, there were still quite a few extras, and some did have nubs on, especially the darker colours like the black. There was quite a few that had nubs, and a few defective ones, but because they gave you so many extras, there was no problem with it. So I'll just put those out of the way. I really enjoyed doing the... I really enjoyed doing the colours. As you can see, it's nice, quiet and vibrant. Um, the reds, there was plenty of different reds. There were 29 colours on this. It's come out reasonably okay for a small canvas. And apart from the drills popping on me, I've been reasonably happy with it. So I'm going to now give it a rolling pin going over and hopefully that will solve any more of the popping ones before I actually frame this. So I've just got it sitting on um, a block of wood and I'm going to use my good rolling pin and let's see how many we can sort. Now you just press reasonably firmly. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can just get a you can just get a can of food out of your pantry, anything, surround, so long as it's round, and it can go backwards and forwards on these things. We'll do it. Yes, I can hear quite a bit of popping going on there. Well, listen to that. I knew that there was some because just before I turned this on, I had to place a couple of extras back on from last night when they came off. I'll do this side. There's another one. Do it the other way. No, it's not too bad, that's good. looking at this before I could see quite a few that were still sitting up quite proud so I'm just going to do that again because I would rather fix it now than see them pop off when they're behind glass if you're really concerned you could seal it with um, an adhesive but if this is going in behind glass, I really don't think that we need to do that step. If it was going into a frame that didn't have glass, I would definitely be sealing this like it, just like it was an acrylic painting. But I think the glass will hold these in place, so I don't think I need to seal it with anything. Time will tell, I guess. But I'd like to get it in the frame before Christmas. Now over here we don't have snow because we're in the middle of summer. So it's quite interesting that um, I'm going to have a snowman hanging around over Christmas. But I thought this was a really cute painting and I wanted to do it. So this was an 8 by 10 So I just picked up a reasonably cheap 
8 by 10 frame. This one's got a mat, but I don't think we'll need this mat. It wasn't very expensive. I think this one came from Kmart. You can pick them up fairly cheap. Um, the warehouse have them, Spotlight has them. If you're in the States, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, oh, what's that other one? Walmart. You guys have got a Walmart, we don't. Um, you can pick up some reasonably priced frames from there. And then it's just a matter of getting the wrapping off and going for it. Right. As you can see, this diamond painting is bigger than the frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mat, the bottom backing sheet out of here and I'm going to put it on top of my diamond painting so I can just see how much I need to actually cut off this canvas so it will fit. So it's just one of these frames that I've got these pokey bits at the back that you just lift up and that backing should come out really easy. Should being the operative word. And we'll just get these bottom two and we should be ready to go. Should have used my scissors instead of my nails. Alright, so I'll put that aside for a minute. I'll take the mat out. safe. If you were using a smaller, if you did a smaller one or you wanted to actually cut this down smaller, you could in fact have centre in the frame. But I like that black border on here, so we are definitely not going to use the mat today. Put that up here. Now this is the one the card that comes in it and it actually shows you how wide your frame is under the mat so if we put this on here we can see that it is just marginally bigger height wise on the mat and it's not even a quarter of an inch wider. So if I do a generous zap around here with the scissors, we should be great to go. And that's how you do it, more or less. I'll just get off the board. Don't need that anymore. Right. So there's really nothing to it. You just get your scissors and you cut down your frame. If you really want to be straight, or you've got a bigger one, you could measure it, or you could use a pen and mark around that base sheet from this from the frame. But I find it's good enough that you can usually just eyeball it and go for it. Now I may need to trim this down again because I may have cut it a wee bit wide. But it's better to cut it too wide and have to trim it down again than cut it too thin and then realise you've got a bit of glass or a bit of cardboard from the back of your frame showing. You don't want that. If your diamond painting doesn't fill your entire frame, you can always use things like washi tape that you can just put around the edge to make your diamond painting that wee bit wider so that it fits into a frame but this one should fit fine without it I have it just in case I need it though I got a nice sparkly one for Christmas okay. almost done now this is cutting through where the glue was 
from it that went around the symbols, which is why it's really good to cover those so that it, they don't pick up any lint off your clothing or just as you're doing the diamond paintings because then if you find it, that lint may show in your final product and just detract a little. Oh, I didn't cut that very straight. I might just have to trim that one up. I need to pay more attention than he's talking. I'm left-handed, but I've never learned to use left-handed scissors, so if I look awkward using the scissors, that's probably why. Alright, that's done. So at the moment it's cut fairly roughly, just to give a bit of an idea. So, we bring our frame over, and we have the glass in there. And I'm just going to sit that in there and see how good it looks. Oh, it's not a bad fit. Just move that over a wee bit. I'm not closing that down. I'm just putting that backing on just so I can flip that over and show you. And as you can see... You can't see any of the white. It looks quite nice and framed because this frame juts out a wee bit over the actual canvas. And so it's framed this quite nicely. So you have a look at it. You decide, have you got it straight? Is it looking how you want it? And I think that's looking fairly good. So I'm now going to make sure I've got that all tucked in properly. And this time I'm going to use my scissors to push those little metal bits down to hold it in place. This frame came with either this bit that sticks up so you can sit it up onto a table if you want to or it's got a nice picture hook that you can hang it on the wall. So This one's actually just going to be sitting on the table. So... I'm not going to hang it on the wall, but that's really good for a cheap frame to have both. It gives you options, and you can make up your mind. Then one year might, you might want to just have it sitting on the sideboard, and the next year you might want to hang it, have it hanging by the door or something. All right. These aren't bad to push back down, so that's good. I'm trying... Oh, darn it knit the frame. This is a wooden frame so if you are using scissors or a knife to s flatten these metal lips that are holding the cardboard in place it might pay if you're just a little bit more careful than what I am. <gasps> Luckily this is only a Christmas one it's not a gift for anybody. If this was a gift for someone I most certainly would be taking it a bit more care to make sure that it looked really really good. Yes I thought there was one more in there. Alright. Okay. I think we've got that down. Okay. Flatten the top bit. They really could have done with one more here but there isn't one. I'm going to put two there instead. Okay, we've done. You can set him up. And there it goes. It's looking fairly good. All the diamonds are in place. I'm fairly happy with that. Admittedly, I wasn't very happy with the diamonds popping on me. But now that I've rolled them... They all seem to be in place, and hopefully, as I've said, who can have said that they've changed their supplier for their for their diamonds, so that should now be a problem that's in the past. 
So I will happily deal with him again. I like the snowman. I'm looking forward to having him out on Christmas Day. It's nice, it's colourful, and it didn't take too long to do. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. It's given you a few ideas. Framing doesn't have to be hard, it doesn't have to be expensive. Just a cheap good old photo frame from one of the cheaper shops would be good. You can put a mat in there, you could have got a bigger frame and put a mat in there if you'd wanted to. My mat that came with this was too small, but I like it the way it is. So, thank you for dropping by. I hope you have a good evening.